Ice Jam FIFA HD with the 14th episode of How to Make Coins. So if guy, if you guys tuned in to the stream that I have just done, the internet, oh my god, it makes me so mad. The internet went down, so I thought, well, there's nothing I can really do, so let's get a trading tip that will help you guys out. And it's kind of just says so sorry, I'm really sorry about the internet going down. Not my fault, I know, but... Yeah, anyway, my dad had a go at him, so anyway, we'll just get on with this. Um, so yeah, the method we're going to be doing today is the investing method. Um, and guys, if you can hit 200 likes again, that would be absolutely amazing. I will get another one out tomorrow or the day after. But this one is a really interesting one, and it is really easy to do, and it'll work all the time as long as there's matches going on. So it's going to be the investing one, so yeah. One, I'm going to show you an example, Andros Townsend, England, when I'm recording this, are playing in about 80 minutes time. So I thought it'd be a good idea to just do this method because on internationals it's kind of easier because, yeah, it, there'll be everyone watching one certain match but we like, leagues, there won't be just one match that everyone will be watching. England, everyone in this country will be watching England and Polish. Uh, Poland people and everyone else. I know even Americans might even be watching England games, so it'll be quite good. It's one of the main ones that everyone will see. And if someone does well in the game, like Andros Townsend did very well, I just want to show you like how much he goes for now. I think he went for really cheap and then he's absolutely rocketed up. Look, let's just have a look. 9.7, none up. And I knew I think he was around about that before. We're going to keep going. And what you can do, you're not thinking, oh, what am I getting at here? You can, like, if you want to do a non-risk one, it's like, let me just see, what's it going for? Wow, 28,000 coins. If you would have invested in him before, I think he would have around about 12. And he's absolutely gone through the roof. Look, 26,000 coins um, he's gone up to. And I think he around about 13, 14, maybe 15, something like that. So what I'm going to be teaching you is to, like this is the first way, predicting it before the game. So if you, so I'm just going to have a look at England at the minute. So he's going to put England and I know that Danny Welbeck will be playing today, probably guaranteed. Um, and he's not the dearest player I've ever seen, he's quite cheap. So if we go and have a look, Danny Welbeck, maybe just pick up about two or three. At the cheapest buy now at the time, so how much is it? Shouldn't be that much, should it? So it will be playing tonight, and if he scores, well, I'll pick one up, and you can, if he scores, his price will go up massively because people will be buying him just because they want to try him out so that game they'll take note of him. So if you pick up like three or four, you'll be probably making like a K on each, and you might be thinking it's really hard to do this. Yeah, it is. Um, but if there's like a star man for a team like Lewandowski, but he's, a, he's very expensive. Um, yeah, it's really easy to predict. Like, if, uh, Netherlands are playing San Marino. Van Persie's going to have, have an absolute field day in it. If you work that one out, that's quite good. The second way to do it in best is like at the weekend on Saturday if uh, someone gets an hat trick. So let's just t say an example. Chris O'Grady gets an hat trick against... Uh, Chef Wednesday, yeah, um, and his price will go up because he's going to have an inform. People will realise, probably not the best best example, but Bernard, if everyone knows that Bernard's going to go up, it happened to Costa as well. Costa was really cheap, just because I think he got two or three goals, and everyone was buying him because they just could tell that the price was going to rise. So if Bernard got like four goals in a game, something like that, it'd be on high alert. And let's just have a look how much he goes for. I'm not even sure. So let's just see what the cheapest is. You might be thinking this is like impossible to do. It's really not. If someone does very well at the weekend, just pick them up. Maybe pick about two or three up and the prices should rise. Like if it's a League One player, maybe stay away. That's a really good deal actually. Um, so, and, wait, is it actually? We're just listening to Trade Pile. Anyway, we'll do some converting if we need to. But if that Bernard turns out that he scores loads of goals, it's going to be a really good deal to invest in. His price will rock it quite a lot. Yes, he goes for 4k, that's actually not that bad. So I hope this helps. It's a really one, really hard one to get your head around, but if you can 
um, build on this one like say for example if like Danny Welbeck scores an hat trick he's going to get an inform so his price will rise it just doesn't matter who he is as long as he's gold um, because his price will rise price will rise. It happened to Costa a few weeks ago. Well, like, yeah, I think like two weeks ago. And it's just a really solid method for you guys to use. So hit that like button if this has helped. I tried to explain it as well as I can, but if you've got any questions, leave them down below. I'm in John P for HD. Adios.